Hello guys, welcome to my channel Sevology. I am back with an important unit conversion video and this is video number 12 of unit conversion series. So in this video we are going to convert kilonewton per square meter to PSI that is LBs per square inch or pounds per square inch. But before going to the conversion, we will try to understand what is standard atmospheric pressure, what is ATM and its different values. So before going to start this video, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get civil engineering related videos. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, what is standard atmospheric pressure? It is actually the air pressure measured at mean sea level at standard temperature and standard temperature is 0 degree Celsius. It is termed as standard atmospheric pressure and it can be written as 1 atm. So 1 atm is that air pressure which is measured at mean sea level at 0 degree Celsius. Okay. And you must have heard about STP, it is standard temperature and pressure at which normally different practicals and experiments are carried out. So STP is 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. Okay. Now standard atmospheric pressure or 1 atm have different values and it is equal to 101.3 kilonewton per square meter or it can be written as 101.3 kilopascal. It means that Newton per meter square is equal to 1 pascal and it is also equal to 14.7 psi which is also equal to 10.3 meters of water which is again equal to 760 millimeter of Hg which is the symbol for mercury. What does it mean 760 millimeter of Hg? It means that if you place a tray filled with mercury at mean sea level, the column of mercury will rise up to the height of 760 millimeters. If the column of mercury rise 760 millimeters into this tube, it means that the pressure is equal to 1013 kilonewton per square meter or 14.7 psi. Similarly, if this tray is filled with water, this column will rise up to the height of 10.3 meters. So, that's how standard pressure is measured at mean sea level. I hope now you have understand the basic meaning of standard atmospheric pressure. Now let's go towards conversion. How 101.3 kilonewton per square meter equals to 14.7 psi. Let's take left hand side which is 101.3 kilonewton per square meter. If you can see over here we have to deal with Newton. We will convert Newton to LBs and meter to inches as this is LB per square inch. So as we know that 1 kg is equal to 9.81 Newton. And we also know that 1 kg is equal to 2.204 LBs. So it means that 2.204 LBs is equal to 9.81 Newton. As you can see over here, left hand side is same, so right hand sides will be equal. 2.204 LB is equal to 9.81 Newton. So this is step by step process. You are requested to watch complete video and don't miss a single step. Just focus on the screen, okay? So 1 Newton will be equal to 2.204 LBs divided by 9.81. So what we have done, we have separated the Newton because we need the value of Newton as you can see over here. So 1 Newton is equal to 
zero point two two four six lb. So the matter of Newton has been solved. So now we will deal with this meter. Okay, by putting values. as you can see over here 101.3 kilo newton by 1013 is same will be written as same and kilo is equal to 1000 and the value of a newton is 0.2246 and meter square is at its place so by simplifying we will get this value that is 22791.98 lbs per square meter as i mentioned that we have to deal with newton and then meter the matter of newton has been solved now we will see square meter as we know that 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet and 1 feet is equal to 12 inches so this value will become 22791.98 lb divided by 3.28 we have converted the meter into this factor is for feet and this is for inches so to convert the meter into inches and then there is square okay we will simplify this value it will become 1549.21 and by simplifying we will get this value which is equal to right hand side of this equation so we have solved that how kilo newton per square meter equal to psi so that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today